What is up, my YouTube fam? We're back again with another one, guys. Kylie Rodney, podcast number nine. Um, Round the Table podcast is who I am. Bare Bones Reactions is my channel. Anyways, guys, Kelly Rodney was found today. I got a clip here. We're going to go over this clip. We're going to do some reaction to this clip. We're going to give our input on this clip. And we're going to discuss it on the way through it. Um... So Kelly Rodney, for those who don't know, was a 16-year-old girl that was missing out of Truckee, California. She was at a party, graduation party. Um, she came up missing. Her car was missing. She was missing. She's been missing for a little over two weeks. Um, her clothes, we had very few camera footage of her. I think one was at Truckee Truck Stop. Um, so this case has been a very no-lead case. So a dive king, uh, they skimmed the water of Truckee Reservoirs. Um, the cops did, um, dive teams did, didn't find nothing. So they brought in Adventure Without a Purpose, without with a purpose come in. They specialize in special dives of recovering people. Normally they focus on cold cases, 20 some odd years and, you know, older than that. And I think they've, they've solved actually like 24 cold cases cold cases at that time so now they come in and they actually have found kyle uh kylie rodney and her suv in 14 foot of water um in the reservoir that the cops has the dive teams already went over so if it wasn't for uh adventures without a purpose with a, with a purpose coming there we would have still had a case going on forever because no one would have found her. Maybe sometime someone would have found her, but now we have, now the family has closure. Um, yes, we did not want this to happen, but at least her family has closure at this time. Anyways, guys, we're going to watch this video. We're going to discuss it a little bit. Let's continue. Let's get it. The search for Kylie Rodney, NBC Bay Area's Marianne Favreau is tracking the latest. Marianne. Terry, the specialized dive team searching for Kylie Rodney says they have found her car with the body of the 16-year-old inside. The independent search and rescue team, Adventures with Purpose, posted on their Facebook page this afternoon that divers discovered a car upside down in only 14 feet of water. They say they have confirmed the person inside the vehicle is Kylie Rodney. Now, at 14 feet of water... 14 feet of water is not that deep of water in the first place. So you have 14 foot water and the dive team that was there before from the police officers or the police department couldn't find this. And it's basically right off of where the party was at. So what happened? Did she get in her car and drive the wrong way? See, this is all the stuff that I'm hoping is going to come out in this whole thing is they're going to tell us what exactly happened at that time. So now we have something that at least we found this girl and at least it's not going to lead into her family not knowing where she's at forever. But then again, we wanted to know more about this and they're going to tell us more about this but it's been very hush hush situation at this time we don't even have photos of this girl any pl other place anyways guys let's continue to see what they have to say Rodney. they also posted that her family has been notified and law enforcement is on their way according to the post the car was discovered in prosser reservoir not far from prosser campground in Truckee, where kylie was last seen on august 6th she was last seen around midnight at a high school graduation party with more than 100 people kylie had texted her so we have we was told it was 300 people we, we was told more people showed up than what was supposed to be showed up at this party. So now we have 100 people. Okay. 100 people. That's still a lot of people. But what happened with her driving off of this embankment off into the water? Because if you look at the picture, all this is is a hill leading off into the water. It's basically like a boat ramp. If you had a boat ramp there, that's basically what this would be like. 
but it's grass and mud. There's grass on one side and there's mud on the other side. So there's no tire tracks at all, but they found her vehicle in 14 foot of water flipped upside down with her inside of it. So my question is, I hope that they come forward and they let us know at least, hey, this is what the autopsy report showed because they said they was going to be doing autopsy reports on her as well. So hopefully they come forward and they let us know what, you know, maybe alcohol, whatever it may be. I don't want to throw out assumptions on this because that's not what this is about. This is actually about this little girl that was 16 years old that come up missing. They found her in her vehicle. It's not a good day, guys. Plain and simple. But at least for the family, they have closure at this time. Anyways, guys, let's continue to see what they have to say. Her mother that night telling her she would be leaving the party in about 45 minutes and her mom texted her to be safe and told her she loved her. She said her daughter texted, OK, mom, I love you, too. Kylie's silver Honda SUV had never been found until reportedly today. The search for Kylie began August 7th as authorities zeroed in on the campground where she disappeared. Teams searched using helicopters and ground crews, hundreds of volunteers from across the sea. And the adventures or, or the cops before said that the reservoir was 55 to 60 feet deep. 55 feet deep was the low, the shallowest it got. So they must have been talking like out towards the middle of this reservoir. Is what I'm guessing, because that's what the news reporter said that the cop, the dive team said, not adventures out of pur with the purpose, but the dive team that was there before searching for her combing the area. So she was found in 14 foot of water, which means she was right off of basically into the water. Anyways, guys, let's continue to see what they have to say. The state and even beyond helped search for Kylie. 10 days after she went missing with little information and evidence, authorities announced they would scale back the search. The Nevada County Sheriff's Office says they are aware of the report from the dive team that they discovered Kylie's body and they are now working to confirm the information. As soon as we get more details, we'll bring them to you. Back to you. And I'm hoping that they give that to us soon. Let us know what the autopsy report saying about this girl. Let us know if there was any foul play in her going off into the water. This may take a while for all this to come out. It's not going to be overnight when they're just going to find out everything they need to know about this girl. The autopsy report, what happened. You know, if they feel like there's foul play, then they'll go, maybe they'll go and they'll go further into the vehicle. They was actually talking about whether was there someone else in the SUV at the time. So they're actually looking at that too, seeing if there's any escape out the, but it was flipped over. So that means no one could open doors. And if they did have the windows down, they're not getting out upside down. Because how many Marine videos have we seen with the helicopters or cars flipped upside down and they can't even figure out the way out of it, let alone a 16 year old girl at nighttime. Anyways, guys, I wanted to bring this to you and let you guys know they did find her. They did find her SUV. Um, they did find her remains inside. Anyways, guys, I'm going to continue to cover this case. I'm going to actually go to another case tomorrow. Um, I'll make a video on that. Go check out my channel. There's a lot more where this come from, guys. Like, subscribe to the channel. Love yourself. Like yourself. Be nothing but yourself. Guys, YouTube family, your boy Deuce is out. Thank you, guys.